Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sunny. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the most amazing curried cauliflower steaks. So our first step here is just going to be to slice this cauliflower directly in half, leaving everything together down here intact. So now we've got these quarter cauliflower right here. Just want to take a little more of that root end off. And so that is what we're trying to end up with. It's just a nice little quarter cauliflower. These are actually kind of tender. You can leave some of those on. Next step, just a little neutral oil into a mixing bowl. I'm just using canola oil, but you could use whatever neutral oil you like or have. Got a nice curry powder going in here. I'll drop a link to this. I'm always telling people to buy their spices on Amazon on this channel because you just get much better value for your money. You get more spices, better spices for a cheaper price. Some kosher salt. Give that a good mix. And in with our cauliflower. Take your time to make sure these are all nicely coated. See that one I took a little bit too much of the root off so it fell apart. That's okay. We're three for four. And that's what we're looking for. Just a nice coating all over these. Yum, yum, yum. So in here, I've got this awesome all-clad baking tray. This thing makes the best roasted vegetables you'll ever try. I'm going to be doing a lot of recipes in here. So I've had that in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And now I'm going to add some more of that canola oil. Just a little. About two tablespoons. And that's going back into the oven. Bottom rack. Closer to the heating element. And we'll let that get ripping hot. Okay, so now that this is nice and hot, we're going to add our cauliflower. So just be real careful when you do this. You know, it's not, it's not crazy hot, it's okay. Sometimes that can sizzle up. Back into the oven. So our cauliflower is in the oven, it's roasting away, and what's really important is that we get in there and we turn it a few times. We really gotta give it some love. We don't wanna put it in there and just forget about it. Okay, so this cauliflower has been roasting for about 10, 15 minutes. It might be different in your oven, you need to just look at it, right? So. Yeah, see, that's what we're going for, right? So turn it, quarter turn on each one. Back in. So what's wonderful is from the turmeric in the curry powder, you're getting that insane color. So it's like color from the browning, color from the turmeric, it's awesome. So another 10, 12 minutes in the oven, we're going for that second flip. Guys, these are looking amazing. These have been roasting for about 30, 35 minutes. This is what we're going for, right? Beautiful golden brown color. Now let's continue to the next step. So now that our cauliflower is roasted, we're gonna take it to the next level like we do here, and we're gonna base it with some brown butter and garlic just to give it that little bit extra oomph. So I've got a saute pan going over medium heat. I'm gonna add some butter. Unsalted butter. Okay, so at this point the milk solids are just starting to brown a little bit, so we're gonna turn that heat down all the way low. We're gonna add in some crushed garlic. Peels are on, that's fine. Okay, cauliflower in. Put it on that back edge of the pan. I'll show you why in a sec. And just tilt your pan back and just begin to baste. I don't know if you can see on the camera. You can see the, that nutty brown color under there. That's what we're looking for. What we don't want to do is burn these. Or burn the butter, rather, sorry. We don't want to burn the butter. That's going to pull out some horrible flavors. And it's the difference between excellent and terrible. So just make sure the heat, look at my heat, right? It's, you can barely see it. So that's what you want. And if you don't have gas burner, that's fine. Just go all the way low on whatever it is you have. So I'm gonna baste these babies for a few minutes and I'll see you back. 
So last minute, I've been basting these for about three minutes. I'm gonna put in some higher quality curry powder just to give it that final little coating of seasoning. And back to the basting. I can just smell that curry powder I put in. It's just gonna give them a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna baste for another minute. I cannot tell you how good this smells. If anybody likes curry or cauliflower at all, make something like this sometime and you'll never go back. Okay, let's go ahead and plate these up. Wow. A little Malden salt just to finish. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Curried cauliflower steaks. These are looking super good. Let's give it a taste. I'm like, I'm, can you see my excitement? I love cauliflower, I love curry. I could be a vegetarian. This is so good. The richness and depth of flavor you're getting from that process, it's all in the technique, guys. You follow those steps, baste it in the end with the garlic butter, take a bite, I guarantee you're gonna slam your hand on the table too. This is great. That is it for today, my friends. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.